Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to play Tomb Raider Underworld on emulator. I choose two different emulators, PCSX2 and Dolphin emulator. I won't tell you which one is better for this game. Each one of these has advantages and disadvantages. PCSX2 is a little bit easier to set up, but has some graphical issues. Dolphin has better graphics and some extra mini games, but you have to properly emulate V mode if you don't have real one. PlayStation 2 emulator that I'm using is PCSX2 1.6.0. On this emulator, game works, but graphics is a little bit broken. If you have message about missing DLLs, you'll have to install C2015 x86 even if you are using 64-bit OS. Now let's see video settings. You can choose between direct 3D. Choose this one if you have AMD graphic card and OpenGL. Choose this one if you have Nvidia. You have three options how to play this game. First, play in software mode. Here you will have all graphical effects, but you can play only in native resolution and the game is a little bit blurry. Second, play in hardware mode. Here you can set your resolution higher than native, but you can't see some special effects and it's pretty easy to miss something important in game. CRC level is automatic, you don't have to enable any hardware hacks. You can keep everything default. The only thing you want to change is your resolution, so for example, 3 times native. Third, is to switching between these two. Fortunately, you don't have to reboot your game during switching. Now I show you a quick comparison of software mode and hardware mode. Also keep in mind that this game needs full boot to work properly. There is nothing special about control setup. You will just choose your controller and map your buttons. On Dolphin this game has pretty good graphics. You can set higher than native resolution. Uh, you can choose different API. So for example for Nvidia I would choose OpenGL or AMD probably will come. Then the game has some bugs which you have to know before you start to play. So first of all, some important things or errors aren't sometimes loaded properly. So be sure to always have save file from end of previous level. Because sometimes you have to reload only last checkpoint, but sometimes whole level. For example, in coastal Thailand, you will miss a very important bar in this era. It's probably caused by going too close to these underwater doors at the beginning of level, but I'm not 100% sure.
So if you miss this important bar or switch, you have to reload and replay the whole level again. Another example is this level where you just can't use this stone pillar. Now you have to reload your last checkpoint. Now I'll show you how to configure emulated VR mode. So we will go to controllers and in VR remote 1 you will choose emulated VR remote and configure. I clear it for you so you can see it from start. So my A is my A button, B is my B button, 1 is my X button, 2 is my Y button, minus is my back and plus is my start. I'm not using home button because I don't have enough buttons on my joypad. Uh, D-pad is your camera and game. You can use your D-pad buttons on joypad, but uh, I prefer my right analog stick, which I'm also using for uh, point. But there is no problem using this stick for two things. Uh, extension is very important, you have to choose nunchak. Okay, now I'll show you how to use motion simulation, which is very important. Uh, these two shakes, X and Y, are extremely important. So for example, my X shake is my left shoulder and my Y shake is my left trigger. If I use these two buttons in uh, motion simulation, I have to use same buttons in extension motion simulation. So again, my X shake is my left shoulder and my Y shake is my left trigger. Uh, you will be using these two buttons pressed in same time for using switches in game. It's very important. You can't use any tilt or swing. You don't have to even map it. Uh, you will be also using this X shake for helping Lara during fall and for climbing faster and also in some mini games now in my motion simulation my point is my right analog stick uh, this is very important in some mini games your pointing cross might disappear after a while of playing. If this happens, just exit full screen, click on control settings, and in V remote, choose none, and then again emulated V remote. This should help without rebooting your game. You don't have to change anything in motion input or in extension motion input. Now in your extension. My nunchuck stick is my left analog stick. Don't use your D-pad here because uh, you need all eight directions. It's for walking in game and also for orientation in menus. If you have older gamepad, you can change your dead zone. Now this C button is my right shoulder and Z button is my right trigger. These two are for motorbike control and this Z button is for aiming mode and it's also for pulling objects with your grapple and it's also for changing position during climbing. Now just don't forget to save your game profile. And if you have any questions about settings, feel free to ask in comments below.
and finally we can see differences between different emulators and graphic settings. So now you can play this awesome game on your PC. And I hope you like this video. If yes, you can hit like button or subscribe button for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.